Welcome back everyone to another design tutorial. Today we will learn about Figma's auto layout. It streamlines the design process through its flexibility and responsive handling of layout adjustments, automatically accommodate diverse screen sizes and content modification. So how to use auto layout in the Figma? First of all, start by creating a frame that will contain your elements. This can be a group of buttons, a navigation bar, or any set of elements you want to organize. In this example, I will use a button, similar to a previous video of using components in Figma. In your next step is whatever elements you want to create an auto layout, make sure they are selected to be placed inside the frame and apply auto layout. You can use keyboard shortcuts or the control panel. Shift A to create an auto layout, or on the right, click on the plus for auto layout. This will apply auto layout to the selected elements. Once auto layout is applied, you'll see some handles and options. You can adjust settings like direction, spacing between elements, and padding. Inside the auto layout panel here, you can change the alignment of your objects. At the same time, you can also fit around with a corner radius to change the layout from vertical to horizontal and even a wrap layout. Okay, let's add some more text to this and you'll see the magic of auto layout. There you have it, a straightforward introduction to the base of utilizing auto layout in Figma. Stay tuned for our upcoming video where we'll demonstrate how to create an accordion style menu with the help of auto layout. Thanks for watching.